we have been approximating the value of pi for thousands of years. Let us see how those approximations were made. One way to approximate pi is to use regular polygons that have many, many sides. They will get closer and closer to a circle, the more size. And I'm going to put up the numbers right now for these four shapes that are not close at all. But as you can see, it starts to get close with the pentagon and hexagon. The hexagon is three and it's uh, slightly well, smaller. So we know that pi is slightly bigger than three. A good approximation would have been 256 over 81 or 2 to the 8 over 3 to the 4. And this is corrected two decimal places. It is around 3.16. There are some other fractional approximations like 22 over 7 accurate to three digits including the 3 and 355 over 113 which is accurate to seven digits. And this is by far the best approximation for smaller numbers. And in fact, it's so good that the amount of digits used in the fraction is less than the amount of correct digits. So in theory, this fraction is easier to remember than the seven digits, 3.141592. And in fact, it's just uh, three odd numbers repeated twice, one, one, three, three, five, five. So this is a very good and very accurate approximation. We have here formulas for calculating pi and pi over four called the Wallace product and the Lebanese formula. These are fractional approximations, and if you cut off the infinite series at some point, you get a fractional approximation, but you will not get 355 over 113. I have no idea why. If you know, you can let me know, but these converge very slowly at sublinear convergence, in fact. And these are, well, interesting, but they're not worth using for approximations. In fact, even, I think, hundreds or thousands of terms might not match the accuracy of 355 over 113. I have decided to show you just how incredibly slow the convergence rate of the Wallace product and the Lebanese formula are. And you're looking at the Wallace product right now because you can't tell. We're close to 200 digits in and... Uh, sorry, 200 iterations in, and we are barely two or three digits of accuracy. It fluctuates between the 3.13 and the 3.14. So slower even than I had uh, predicted. Now, you may be wondering, how do supercomputers calculate the digits of pi up to trillions or even quadrillions of digits Obviously, if they do not use this algorithm, it will be far too slow, even for supercomputers. They use an algorithm called the Gauss-Legendre formula, based on the arithmetic geometric mean. And uh, it has quadratic convergence, which is very fast. It allows you to get some 25 million digits with uh, 40 iterations, I think. And... Uh, the Lebanese formula here, it's, it's not much better. It's about the same, in fact. It's gonna fluctuate between 3.13 and 3.14, I think, for just all of the rest of this uh, animation, basically. So these do produce fractional approximations, yes, but obviously if, if, any, if you've learned anything by now, those fractional approximations are not good. I believe the accuracy or precision is roughly based on the fraction that's being added or subtracted and well, 
in here the denominator because the uh, numerator is one and so at uh, about 1000 we're probably about after to three digits which is not good yeah not good I decided to write a program to find these best fractional approximations and I'm going to put the code up on the screen right now. So here are the fractions in order of increasing denominator. 22 over 7, 311 over 99, 355 over 113, 312,000, 689 over 99,532 3,126,535 over 995,207 5,419,351 over 1,725,033 2 million eight hundred fifty thousand nine hundred twenty two over 78,256,779 and I will just show the rest without reading them because they are getting really long. As you can see 355 over 113 and this other fraction with a 10 digit denominator are the only fractions that use less digits than the amount of correct digits they give. And, well, the bigger one is of no use for most people because it's too long to remember, which is why 355 or 113 is the supreme approximation 